This is the inner layer of my underquilt using Cat Splat's differential cut underquilt calculator. It is a free uh, spreadsheet calculator that you can enter in all your different parameters for your underquilt. It's a really excellent calculator for uh, do-it-yourself underquilts. You're able to calculate your baffle widths and the top layer and the bottom layer is going to be different and so this makes it really easy. Once you have marked out your inner fabric, the inner layer is not as wide as the outer layer which leaves a cutoff and the extra material for the cutoff I will sew into channels to add to all four ends edges of the underquilt. I've marked out my channels. I've just divided the leftover cutoff from the fabric into four. This is the next step of our underquilt build is sewing the baffles onto our inner fabric. You can see that I'm following the lines here that I've marked. There's one row that's done. Next step is we're going to be attaching our channels that we sewed, which was the three inch strips of fabric measured to our uh, quilt dimensions, pulled it over and hemmed. This is the right side, right side together. So you can see the baffle is on the underside here. I'm going to sew this along our half inch seam allowance and when it's flipped over it'll have a nice finished edge. So now I'm going to be sewing the two layers together. In a baffle, lining it up with this line here. So I have rolled up my inside layer, my inside out. As I'm sewing, I'll be unrolling the next layer, and the next layer, one at a time. So each baffle will be sewn. Here's the next step. All the baffles have been sewn into place. What I like to do next is I have a half inch seam allowance along the top layer that I'm going to sew to the bottom layer. One thing you have to try to realize is that the outside edge of the top layer ends up being your wall, your outside wall. It took me a little while to wrap my mind around that. But by ironing a crease, along the perimeter of the green fabric, the outside fabric, that'll make it a whole lot easier to sew. All right, now we're ready for the tricky part, and that is putting the down into the quilt. This is what you would receive when you order down from us. It contains three ounces. Here uh, I have a just a plastic bin, although you can use a cardboard box or whatever you'd like. Um, to measure the down in 
and the kitchen scale. And I'm going to highlight two different methods for um, getting the down into your quilt. The method that I first used when I started making quilts was just using a shop vac extension pipe. This is just one of the regular sized pipes. I also have the larger two inch pipes and that of course will get more down in it. But I take a piece of um, no seam netting, uh, maybe an offcut from your baffle, and I secure that to the end of the shop vac pipe with some elastic. Um, and then I'm Take this on here and I'm sucking air, air, filling up the down into the pipe. And when it's full, it stops sucking. Then I carefully take it out, plugging this because this is going to have lots of down in it. At which point I then stick it into the baffle and carefully plunger it. I found plungering it with a stick or um, Something smaller, of course, that would fit through the pipe, but you want to bunch up the quilt so you get it near the end. It's not very uh, messy, it's time consuming because you only get a little bit of down um, into the pipe at a time, but it beats having to grab handfuls and stuff it into the baffles or climb inside your bathtub or uh, many other different ways. A venturi system and this is a continuous waste drainage pipe that you can pick up from the hardware store so I've modified mine this is uh, just one and a half inch flexible hose uh, that you can get for a sump pit uh, sump pump um, but when you're buy when you buy the pipe from the store it comes in this piece here this piece and there's also a little angle what it's for is hooking up a double sink in your kitchen there's a, a directional um, wall here I don't know the name of it what you call it technically it's inside the pipe and what it is for is for directing the flow of water fr from one sink down the drain instead of back up to the other sink but it will work in our case for directing the airflow. So I have my shot back hooked up to this hose here and it's now blowing air and it's going to blow air out through this hose, this end here. From this side, I have another piece of the flexible hose and this will be used to suck the down up out of the bin. So it's going to go in through this hose and because the airflow is here it automatically wants to draw the down in and direct it out this way into the baffle. So I'll have the down in this bin measuring here and as it's sucking the weight will go down. So I start with three ounces I want to put one ounce or however much you've calculated into each baffle and it's uh, simple math for that. 